the more. I do kind of, let me see, what's the, all those pieces of, uh, let's see, I've got, if I got my hand clean enough to touch the camera, I'm thinking I want to re-aim the camera. Well, you still won't be able to see it. Down in the bottom there, all, uh, all those little, just a half a coil or a quarter, three quarters of a coil of, of that old heating element, they just broke off and fell down in there. And uh tried picking them up with a magnetic screwdriver last time. Don't think it'll pick them up. Let's go ahead and try aiming down to see what we see. Because you're not, what up there is not really what I'm doing anymore, so... There we go. So down here, oh yeah, they are magnetic. Well, the one I tried didn't pick up, so I thought they weren't magnetic. Well, they're not. They're not all magnetic. That one won't. I think. I wonder if something about the heating process causes it to kill the magnetic in them or something. That's pretty weird. Yeah. So the vacuum's all that's going to clean that up. I think I should get. It's not real important, but yeah, it's actually not important, I don't think. It's really just, it's not going to jump up and do anything, and I really have so much to do. I think I'll just leave it as it is. It's not like, any, you know, it's going to matter once it's closed back up. I wipes the main part of the grease off the back there so that and the grease can't hurt anything except for getting you dirty and you're not going to be back in there again for a long time so, so uh, shut this one. make sure I kind of wipe the back enough that I would like to have that I'm going to get some kind of cleaner because I don't want every time I touch that from now on I think this will do good uh, enough. Denatured alcohol. Um, my little bag, I just changed the way I was wearing it. My bag that I, there, that I have my my phone in that's transmitting my mic over the, over the Bluetooth to the camera, to the receiver that I've got plugged into the camera. It, it kept making my feel like I was trying to pull my pants down so I put it down below my belt and now it's getting worse so that didn't work everything is really going crazy oh I think that's how I did it left it in down and below the belt in the back and above the belt in the front I think somehow that did it better before I wasn't having I was having a little trouble with it but not as much as I am right now Okay, now, uh, you need your alcohol. I'm not going to spin, the va last time I kept spinning the dryer around to show exactly what I was doing, but that's, I'm getting tired already, so. And I have been up since 9 or 10 o'clock last night, and now it's, that's why I'm getting tired. And now it is about the same time in the morning. It was 9 a while ago, I don't know if this denatured alcohol is going to cut that. You know how that stuff feels so cold. Yeah, it's not really cutting that good. I know that acetone would, but I really don't want to. There's no point in using that. It's not really doing anything. I didn't want to use the acetone, even though it's good. It's better than... Uh, Wait, the other thing I got that will do it, if I have any, mineral spirits. I don't know if I have any. What's that? Yeah, there we go. Well, let me do it. I just... Oh, dang it. You can believe it. In the garage, got a sticker right through my glove. 
a, a yard sticker, the grass burr. And it, it, it's like four or five of them just jammed into my finger. <laughs> When I went to when I picked this up, he got me just instantly. But mineral spirits. I'm not really doing the bottom anymore, so let's try to stay. Yeah, when I get back over here again, I'll be. When I open it up again, I should be back in the area where I'm working. But uh, I guess I should put it back on the farther away view. Then you can just have an overview of what's going on. That's cutting it. Right and I'm pretty sure that this will, these gloves do stop mineral spirits pretty good. Or maybe mineral spirits just don't bother my skin as much as acetone. Could be the case too. I can't remember. I read up on it and started learning about it. And that denatured alcohol is actually, I thought, it's a little better at cleaning than uh, just regular rubbing alcohol. And I read up on that not too long ago. That stuff is flat. It's poison. I always knew, you know, if you drink, you know, you, if you can't, uh, wood alcohol, you know, you can't drink that. Make you sick. If you drink a bunch of it, it can even kill you. Uh, but de uh, denatured alcohol, it, it is not in itself poisonous, but they put poison in it back in the Prohibition days, and that's how they still make it. There's a screw in there. No, it's a paper towel. They still make it that way. They put it in there during the Prohibition days to keep people from drinking it. And they still do it. And it's really poisonous. Bad. I forget what the poison is they put in it. But they just simply poisoned it on purpose to stop people from drinking it. I don't drink alcohol. never have liked it. But I think that's ridiculous. And unbelievable that the government did that. Yeah, I want to get a little bit of that out of there because because I'm going to be working in that area. But my wheel's all greased up real good. <laughs> and uh, where's the lid to this? Yeah. I, well, it's not stinging my skin, but I think I will rinse my hands off and get these gloves off. And had, I'll have some of this. It's not much left in it, but so I got it. Okay, I'm not going to leave that in the trash can. Put it on the floor. Actually, the gloves too, because they're more just as wet as the. Put it on the floor down there on the concrete floor by the door, where I'll sit and pick it up later once it's dried. Any kind of flammable stuff I don't put in the trash can wet. Okay. Uh, still working. I'm going to just step into the kitchen here and rinse my hands off a bit. And then he may be able to hear me. I don't know. Let's see later when I watch back the video. But uh, let's see. Got that. Uh, I want to put that new part on there. Then I'll put the church ball on the drum. And then I want to. Then I'll put the new heating coil unit, the new heating coil in the unit and the vacuum plate on and test, I want to test it, make sure it, make sure it is going to work before I get all into replacing the felt in the door and everything. <coughs> well, aren't you glad you can hear me now? I don't think those other two gloves are worth having. I mean, worth trying to use. I want to throw them away and get a new pair. 
I'm not going to have need a pair right now, I don't think, but I'm going to get them now so that when I need them in a minute, I'll have them. Uh. Glove Works is the brand that I got now. <clears throat> Can't believe I got a sticker inside like that. Okay, I'll put those right up there. Okay, are you still working? Forgot to check my... Yeah, it's blinking. You have to watch the blue light, and if it's blinking slow, it's working. I'm talking about it on the Bluetooth receiver. And if it's blinking fast, it's trying to pair. So, what, last time I went in, I turned off the camera and I went in, and I thought, well, this is going to be hard to get these mics off without a mirror and everything and get them back on, so I'd wear it in there. And then when I came back, oh, yeah, now it's completely lost connection. Nose is itching. <clears throat> okay. Uh, get my new parts out let's see okay i wiped that down good enough that's my workbench well you know it'd make a good workbench if if uh, i'm always thinking about different things to do with stuff okay this okay the trailer hitch ball is going to stay in there until i think i'll get the instructions out and make sure that i get this all in the right order It's got the screws with it and everything. And that little ball bearing. I'll put it back in that sack so it doesn't roll away. Okay, now. Um, this is stapled together. But it's stapled on the wrong corner for you to be able to open it up right. Oh, there's a diagram of how to do the door fill. Let's see. Got lots of nice pictures. That's good when it has nice pictures, because then you don't got to read all this tiny fine print until you have to. Okay. It actually looks like it's pretty good instructions. Oh, there we go. There's the. Still don't see instructions on how to. Yeah, it's just pieces of paper, but they put they put the staple on the right side instead of the left where you could fold it like a book. Actually, I think I'm going to need to get it out so that I can <sighs> so that I can open it up and read it. Use my little. Utility knife, unbend them. There we go. I'd like to have keep. I don't have my trash can over here. I keep wanting that thing every five seconds. Seems like. I don't like throwing. If I lay it down, I'll, I'll end up just sweeping it off into the floor. I don't want to staple in my pocket or anything. Okay. <laughs> It looks like it shouldn't be going the other way. Maybe that's it. Maybe they did it. They stapled it in a good way and then folded it backwards. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Because it will fold up. It looks like a little booklet. Yeah, it's folded the other way. But you still couldn't have opened it up to read it. Let's see. I'll put this back in there for now so I won't lose it. It was in the center section. There it is. And it's time to read the fine print. Well, at least that's... That's actually... It says number 14. Okay. The grounding ball... Oh, the grounding ball doesn't go on the inside. I would have put it on the inside because it looks like it belongs there. There is a... Counters... No, there's not. I thought it was countersunk inside of there for the ball, but it goes on the back. Oh, it's countersunk on the back, on the outside. Okay. The ball goes in the outside, and then... 
I'm going to bet, yeah, this little thing here goes on there like that. Or maybe like that. Let me read the instructions to hold it in there. This is so tiny. Still not seeing what order it goes in. I don't think it showed you. Maybe it tells you and I just need to read it. These are these are uh, like sheet metal screws, the ones that go hold that thing together. Uh, so they screw. No, they don't. They screw into the sheet metal. They are sheet metal screws. I was thinking that they would screw into the plastic from the back. That'll probably be easier to install, though. I can put the screws through from the front. Okay. Okay, it does. I think it's showing you the order. Tinner man clip. I guess that's what they're calling that thing. Yep, tinner man clip. This one here. Never heard of a tinner man clip. But I'm. Yeah, they're not. They're good pictures, but the one thing that I actually want to make sure I get right that I don't. I would, I think I know, but I wanted to make sure they don't have a picture of that. You can replace that with the drum in there on some of them. I've... Oh no, those are just the screws. On the, the screws go through the, from the ends to hold the, the ball, the hitch ball. They go through from the inside, but they just go straight to that. It doesn't say anything about, you know, what I was looking for. Well, when I get to that part, let's see. Oh, here, there's more about that on the next page. I thought that was pretty odd. 14. Oh, I see. It's really out of order. And I don't see any way for it to get in order. Like I was talking about how they ordered it. Well, I figured it out, so. I'm not going to go on about that. Let's see. Yeah, everything's out of order. Thirteen, thirteen, fourteen. It's crazy. They must have. They didn't print it mirrored or you couldn't read the words. Okay, there's the clip, the bracket. Oh, it does not go on there the way I thought. Okay, bracket goes like... That's why I knew there was a reason that it had a... U shape to it. It goes on the front. I thought it was going to go on the back to help hold this up. It doesn't help hold it up. You know what? I think there's a slot. There might be a. Yeah, there's a slot in the. It goes. This little tab helps hold it up because this little tab goes in through the back sheet metal of the drive. There's a slot there. And uh, let's see if I can find anything else. And then this clip goes somewhere in the mix. This goes on the very back. This is what your screws go through to catch catch them. Doesn't just depend on the you know your dryer sheet metal. It wear out pretty soon, you know, with replacing parts. That's what that is. It's one of those deals. And then I guess that's a would keep the ball bearing from it's definitely going to be needed now because I, I think I drilled that out 
No, it's down below there. I don't think I've more. I drilled that half inch holes above that. Okay, so 13, 14. Where's number 12 then? I've never seen them else, anything more mixed up in my life. Huh. I don't see how they got it mixed up. Unless they did it in like a word processor and got confused. They might have been trying to make a folded book out of it and got confused. I've done I've done that kind of thing myself before, like in Microsoft Word back in the olden days. Before I started Linux, back before 2005. And I haven't tried anything like that, you know, like with uh, Open Office or anything. The same basic kind of thing. And even if I fold it the way they had the other way, like they had it, it doesn't make it get in order. It was out of order already. Is that number one? Number one. You wouldn't. That'd be the last thing you'd do is put the belt back on. Six. Maybe telling you how to take it off. I'm in a hurry. I already know how to do most of all of it. I know I've done this before a couple of times now, but eighteen. Yeah, it's it's a really crazy. Now I don't even know how I had it a while ago. Really crazy uh, layout. Oh, I see. Well, I lost the spot. Again, I need to find it though, I think. I think you can flip it over and then it has another hole. I think that's it. It's flippable. It has to be flipped to get through it. How did I lose the ones I was looking at? That don't make sense. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now, back to where we were. I want that page with the order of the... Uh, Okay, I know the order now. Okay, I figured it. I went over it enough times at looking at it and looking at it. I, I know it now. Okay, I wasn't sure that I did, but I do. Okay, now uh, these little screws. Where do they go? I didn't see them. Huh? I did not see them in any of the diagrams. Well. We'll just go ahead and try to do it the way I believe it goes, and then if I'm wrong, we'll, I'll be finding out. And I'm going to put a little grease on there. I didn't see that in there, but I think I, f I think that was in the instructions from the one I did a long time ago, telling you to. I'm going to put these screws in this bag where the ball bearing is. See, I'm fixing enough to flip this lid up. <clears throat> and I'll put the bag back in my little box okay this 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 and this and this and this all of it basically okay don't have good places to lay stuff guess i can use my toolbox that's how i've always done it <laughs> anyway okay i hate that itch should have put some of that denatured alcohol on there oh no i can't that's poison all right okay but yeah, I get to put it through. Well, I don't get to put it through from this side completely because I have to put that uh, thing that makes the screws stay in there. I was going to use the driver, but I better, I'm not going to do. I better not do that. I'll be well. No, that thing's pretty fast. I don't think I can catch it, get it slowed down enough. Where's all my nut drivers? I have one in here, I think. Yeah, the quarter inch, but where's the other one? It's not the one I would want anyway. What did I do with the other one? Put it in my pocket or something? Could have. I like to put things back in their places so that later, in a few minutes, I don't lose it. And I've lost it. 